Hi, good evening. This is Bob Yang with EduBridge and welcome to another talk about college applications and admissions. As a reminder, I'm with EduBridge and have been a educational counselor for MIT for the past 20 years, meaning I interview high school students who uh, apply to MIT. And over the course of doing this, I've interviewed hundreds of students uh, and would like to share some of that experience with uh, interested parents and students so that you might have edit some of your critical questions answered about college applications and the admissions process. Today, we're gonna talk about the essay. We often get questions such as, what makes you outstanding when writing an essay for US universities? What are some of the common mistakes that people make in their essays? And how do I write the most effective college essay? The essay is the one chance you're able to tell the school about yourself using your own words. The rest of the application are test scores, grades, and teacher recommendations, as well as an interview report. So this is the one chance where you get to talk about yourself directly to the admissions committee. In the application, most of the top schools will have their own specific questions. In addition to the personal statement that you will write as part of the common app. Unlike when I was applying 20 years ago, there are word limits to each question. Most of them are under 250 words. So you have a very short space and time to make a very big impact. The purpose of the essay and each question is to let the admissions team know more about you, whether it's your personality, your interests, or your accomplishments. But they should all be consistent with each other. For example, if you are a math major, you should talk about your math research, your math activities and accomplishments. But you should also talk about how you got interested in math originally. More importantly, though, you should tell them about your personal qualities, your determination, your curiosity, your competitive nature. And the best way to do this is through stories. For example, a student we had talked about her first day working with a research group at university and how nervous she was. She was only in grade 10 and everyone else in the lab was nine to 10 years older than she was. But by the time she was in grade 12 and had worked with the group, she overcame the age gap. She felt like she was part of the team and that her age difference didn't matter anymore. She used this story not only to talk about the fact that she did research at a university, but she used it to show that she was mature and capable of interacting with adults as a peer. And it showed her determination to go into new situations and overcome her nervousness. Similarly, let me give you another example. A student who wanted to talk about his determination and independence. It had nothing to do with academics, but was a powerful story. He wanted to buy a bicycle. And after a lot of research, the bicycle he wanted was 35 miles away. His parents thought that that was too far to drive to get a bike and so refused to take him. 
So he took the bus and bought the bike and then rode the bike 35 miles back to his home. And this was while he was only in the seventh grade. So remember, people don't care if you just say, I am determined, or I'm a very curious person. They only remember it when you tell stories about yourself, demonstrating how you are determined or how you are curious. So what are the common mistakes that I see in essays? The first is that students say things in their essays that they think they should be interested in, not that they're actually interested in, because they want to sound well-rounded. So a math student might say, I love Shakespeare, or in my free time, I like to think about philosophy and read Plato or Socrates. Guys, this is not useful or helpful at all, unless they have other activities that are related. They can say, I love Shakespeare, if they also like acting and have participated in Shakespearean plays. They can say, I like Plato or Socrates, if they have many years of participation in a philosophy club. The lesson is, don't try and pretend you are something or someone that you are not. It actually only hurts your application. The second major mistake that I see is that the student tries to say what they think the school will want to hear. Spend the valuable essays talking about why you are special and not trying to give the right answer to the school. Don't try to say, I am well-rounded and a Renaissance man. Just because you think Harvard likes people in the humanities, if you have no other interest or activities that are humanities related. The third big mistake that I see students make is that they're too generic in their essay. They will say, for example, I did research and worked really hard and used all this biology equipment in a lab. What they should do instead is talk about the specific experiments that they did. For example, what it felt like the first time they were able to successfully extract DNA, or even a failed experiment and what they learned from it and how they were successful when they did it again. Because in research and experiments, nobody's ever perfect. The final common mistake I see is that students write these essays like a fiction story or creative writing. They spend a lot of time talking about the background, like I was so nervous my hands were sweaty, and then I sat in my chair for two hours, and then I went to the bathroom. They forget that the purpose of the essay is not to entertain the reader, but to help the reader learn about the student. The story might be interesting to read and enjoyable, but it doesn't help the student stand out at all. I hope these tips around essay writing are helpful. I'm also looking forward to working with the students who entered our essay contest to improve their essays. I'm now happy to answer any questions that the audience might have. Okay, well, thank you very much for listening to our talk this evening. Tomorrow we'll have another talk where I will talk about the experiences and comparing a good school versus a not so good school.